am going to show you how to use this gorgeous unicorn overlay in your images. Um, it's super easy. So you just want to open up that file and have your background as well opened. I'm going to use my move tool and I'm just going to drag, hold and drop into my background. So that gives me freedom to be able to move him around. And I think I'm going to make him a bit bigger. So Command T on a Mac and I'm holding my shift key down and dragging until I see a decent size. And that looks about right. And I'm going to hit enter. So it's as simple as that. Now he looks like he's kind of floating on the grass. So we want to blend him in a bit and I'm going to show you a nice little technique to use. So I'm going to start by duplicating my background layer and dragging that layer above the unicorn layer and he'll disappear, but that's okay. We're going to then put a masking layer on top of that background layer and I'm going to use my um, eraser tool at 100% and then I'm just going to erase everything back into the image. And there he is. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is choose my grass brush. So that comes with Photoshop, I believe. Um, it's just a standard brush. And I'm going to then change my eraser to a black one. And then I'm just going to start by erasing in some of these strands of grass so that it doesn't look like he's floating anymore. So you can change the um, size of the brush by using your bracket keys. And I'm gonna do the same with the tail, just so that it kind of blends in a little better. There's nothing worse than a image that doesn't look blended. And there you have it, that's it. So you'll be able to see if I take that layer on and off, he just kind of looks a little more sunken into the grass like he would actually be there. And um, if you want to purchase this awesome overlay, I'll leave the link in the description and you'll be able to use him too. Thanks for watching.